Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you can see me well enough because I'm on temporary lights because the bulb in my main filming light has popped and I need to save up to get another one. So I've got itchy nose. I'm just going to do a quick get ready with me. I've done one eye. All I've got to do is this eye, eye and my lips. So I thought I'm out of breath. So I thought I'd film this for you. It's just a brown sort of coppery, smoky eye. Oh, I really do hope you can see this. I'm just going to pop my hair in this little thing out of the way, just so it's not in my face. And took that behind my ears. I took that one behind my ear. <coughs> so I've had, I've had a sort out. So I'm first of all, I'm going to put some lip stuff on my lips. I've had a sort out in my makeup drawer, and I've got a basket of stuff that I'm going to either give away or just get rid of. Um, I saw Chalky Kaz, she's just done a video of sorting out her makeup and stuff that she hasn't used, you know, and whatever. And it spurred me on because I'd been looking at it and thinking I need to sort this out, there's stuff in here that I don't use. You know, stuff that's been in here probably a little bit too long and I need to sort it out and watching her video got me going because I'm terrible I will sort a drawer out and put it all back and this time I have got a basket full and I'm just going to do a quick video the same as she did to show you what I've taken out of my collection so you'll see that in another video um, prob probably with me wearing this makeup so we'll get on in the crease oh, I have put Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer I think that's what it's called um, and then a cream eyeshadow that I use from Wet n Wild, it's called Brulee, and just set that into place. My brows are done with this brow pencil here, it doesn't have a name or anything, it was just a cheap pencil that I got from eBay, and it is really, really good, well, I think it is, for my brows. <laughs> right, I'm going to do my crease with Milk Chocolate from the Natural Collection. Hit pan on this. <laughs> Must get a backup just in case they decide to um, take it away. Right, I'm going to pop that into the crease. Let me zoom you in a little bit. There we go. Oh, I'm not, you know, I can't see properly. I hope you can. <laughs> Probably end up dumping this video. See what it's like when I uh, <laughs> look at it. Right, I'm using this um, Eye Studio by Maybelline, and it is in Irresistibly, Irresistibly Me, I think. No, in Irresistible Ivy. Yeah, why they've called it Ivy? Because there's not an Ivy colour in there. That's like turquoise. But I'm using the cream shades and the two browny coppery shades and then I'm using this dark dark brown colour it's a matte by Lorac or Lorac is it Lorac it's a lovely dark deep brown matte eyeshadow all right I went in with a small sort of angled fluffy brush and I took the lighter coppery shade and I put that in because it's a little bit sparkly this colour so you had to be careful where you put it and I'm putting it in the bottom part of the crease not going up there like that brush it up at the outer corner a little bit and then I took it on the inner part of my eye um, put a flat brush for that, that one, and pop that on there. Like that. And then I gotta find my brushes here. And then I use the darker shade, 
and pop that on the outer V and I haven't got my shield on for my eye I don't think it's going to stick very well it's been used a few times, no it's not too bad and then put that pat it down take it up and I also took that across the crease too rub those together in the middle and just to blend them a little and then I took a fluffy blending brush and give that a rub off and just give that a light blend through and then and then with a flat brush again I use the dark chocolate brown and place that right on the outer part of the eye. And took that up a little bit higher than the crease. Sorry, I'm just looking over here just to make straight into the light. My cord wasn't long enough to bring it behind where I really needed it, needed the light, so it's a little bit awkward. So, and then I took the blending brush and blended again. And I can see I need a little bit more of the original crease colour popping back in the top there. And I'm just going to blend that lightly with my finger. And then I went in with this colour here, which is like a lovely it's a creamy colour. Has a, it's not matte, but it's not sparkly. It has a little bit of a sheen there. I'm going to pop that top of my brow bone all the way around. Look at that. And use this blush, this blush, this brush to blend that a little. these look the same <laughs> and to put a little bit more of that colour, the lighter colour in there and blend again right And then I used a small liner brush and MAC Dip Down, the dark brown liner. Need to get some more, it's nearly, nearly to the end. I know there's a few more months left of liner yet, but. Uh, and then I lined. top lid like that I think I've got a little bit thicker on that side than it is on that side yeah 
you can always go in and rectify the problem. There you go. Easy enough to sort it out. Don't know if it's to you, this eye looks a little bit darker. Let me look. Now, I wish you could answer me. <laughs> be so much easier, wouldn't it? You know, if I could say to you, what should I do? Should I put a bit more on this side? Or what lipstick do you think I should put on? It'd be great if you could. I think if you did, I'd fall off my stool. <laughs> I feel that this eye isn't as dark. Um, can't find the brush I was using now. I'm going to go in the shadow from the quad, so I used the, this one here. blend again. That's looking better. And then a little bit more of the lighter crease colour again just to blend blend that through. That's better. I hope it's better. <laughs> Probably look dreadful. That's why you should have great lighting to do, do your makeup. Right, I'm going in with the Essence Lash Base. You should never do your makeup in light like this. And it's really dull and horrible and rainy outside as well, so that's not helping. And I forgot to curl my lashes on this side. Uh, so my lashes aren't looking so good. <laughs> ah. So I better not curl these, else they'll look different. And I'm using a brown mascara, and it's from Rimmel's... Oh. Blinky eye. It's twitchy. Um, sorry about that. It's Rimmel's Lash Accelerator Endless Growth Grow Lash Complex and Fibre Mascara. This is a really nice mascara. So I'm going to go over this lash base with this mascara. Gives you great lashes. The combination of these two. wriggle there and make sure I've got all the white covered. powder brush that I use and I'll just powder that back under there. There. And the lipstick I'm going to, I'll pop my, my glasses on first, take my hair down so it has time because it sticks up like that so it has time to drop down. If you have a flat fringe 
get into them. I bought these off of eBay. They're like little padded bows, and then they're the velcro on the back. If you if you find that your flip fr your flinge is your fringe is really flat, pop it back for a few minutes while you do your makeup, and when it comes down, it sits really well. So that's just a little tip. Right, the the um, lip liner. It is. Can't see it. Tiramisu. And I think yeah, it's a Rimmel. And it's called Tiramisu. And that is the colour. Excuse me. This is where I was wiping my brushes when I was trying to find the brushes that I was using for doing my eyes. And the lipstick I'm going to use is Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. And the colour is Melted Nude. I thought I'd go with a nude lip today, with the eyes being, you know, fairly dark. So we're just going to line the lips and fill them in. This is a nice lip liner. I don't know if they do it anymore. And just fill them in. Gosh, my lips are really dry. I do apologise. Doesn't seem like any of my lip balms seem to be um, doing much good at the moment. So this is a squeezy tube and it has a um, sponge applicator on the end. Um, if you didn't want to do it this way, you could use, you could squeeze it up and use a lip brush and take the lipstick off the top of the, the tube if you so wished. But I find that this uh, sponge the shape of it really puts the lipstick on really well if you're not talking while you're trying to do it. There we go. I'll give you the look, the finished look, and I'll tell you what I have on my face. I on my face, yeah. I will tell you in a moment. I have used my Nivea um, post, what's it called? Post shave balm as the primer. I have used a Dr. Jart Plus Premium BB Balm and it has an SPF of 45. This is whitening and anti wrinkle. I'm really, really liking this. It's it's got a really, really good full coverage for a a, a BB cream. Um, Colour is great. Feels really nice on the skin. And then I have used. Oh, there it is. My Catrice Camouflage Cream under my eyes, round my nose, and sorry I spat at myself, and any other little red areas that I might have. And then I used the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. And then over that I dusted this, um, it's called a bronzer, but it's, it's really, really light. It has an SPF of 15, it's from Wet n Wild. And it is called Reserve Your Cabana. I'm not what it looks like. You have to go with a light hand though because it does have a tiny little bit of sparkle going through it but it is only a tiny bit. I think it's more of a sheen going to it but if you go too heavy handed you it, it can be you know it goes over the top and you look too shiny but I use a big brush this one in fact and what I do is, is dap, tap it in 
knock it off and then I press over my face, just put it on and then I go in and buff it and it leaves a nice, I've got no, I haven't got any highlighter on at all, it's just, just this powder, it's really really nice, I really like it. Um, and then contour, I have my cargo contour powder in light and I've just done you know the cheeks down the sides of my nose around my hairline and just a pop underneath my chin and, and you know um, blended that down my neck um, the blush I have on is a L'Oreal true match blush in innocent flush And that looks like that. It has a nice sheen to it by itself. So again, you don't need a um, highlight with that. Or I feel I don't. Not with, with being older, I don't want any more sheen on my face than I have already got. Um, and you've seen the lipstick. So this is the look. I hope you like it. And I will see you again soon. Bye for now.